Hi, I'm Mark Camby, and welcome to our new Lampletter headquarters here in western New York. Over here you'll see this uh, 1853 church that the Lord has uh, graciously allowed us to, uh, to own to start our new bindery and printing and uh, recording studio. And behind me we have the uh, 5,000 square foot facility where our students, our guild students, and our interns will be living. This will be our offices. But before we go in, I'd like to show you a few videos of what this place looked like before we started. We started this 17 days ago, and I have never seen in my life any house that was in any worse condition than this. In fact, I thought I was going to bulldoze it. But the Lord graciously allowed us to start digging up, and after removing seven tons of debris out of this house, I think you're going to find that things not only can be restored on a physical level, but we're looking forward as this serving as a model of what can be restored on a spiritual level as well. Let me take you for a journey. Okay, here we are. New lamplighter headquarters. Here's what we're looking at. Yep, this is pretty gross. Hey Edwin, how's it going? I'm going to take the nails out of here. Great. Okay, here's our kitchen floor. Or, this was our kitchen floor. bedroom has a nice exit, a nice, uh, nice stairway so you can escape during the middle of the night when the place catches on fire. And it's got these lovely, lovely sides to it. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. Uh, oh, okay. as you can see, we have a um, tree growing out the roof. It's a little unusual, but um, I think we'll keep it here. How's it going, Brian? Oh, it's so fun. Oh, man. <laughs> no, I'm not taking a picture of you. I'm taking a video. Hey, what are you guys doing? I just asked you to get that one nail out. What'd you do with, the, what'd you do with my porch? When, when I first walked into this place, there were two standing walls here with two doors. And so you had this abrupt opening. And when you walked in here, the carpet was so soiled and stained with everything imaginable. Um, this place really reminded me more of a prison than anything else. But let me show you what God has allowed us to do just in 17 days. Let me take you over here in the dining room. Um, in the dining room, um, we don't have a lot of furniture yet, but we have this uh, large walnut table that we got for um, uh, as a gift. And we're real thankful for that. And this is kind of unique here. If you look behind me, you'll see the brick, um, this brick uh, chimney, as well as this open expanse of a kitchen. When I first walked into this room, there was just a tiny little um, hallway that went into the kitchen. The kitchen was like a prison. And uh, we opened it up, and when I opened the walls up, we found this brick inside. And one of the things that I love is I love brickwork on walls. And so we're gonna put another um, uh, gas stove in front of this. And uh, now our students and staff have a kitchen to, to use, and it doesn't feel like you, you're in a closet. Now they have a, a room that um, they can use both the dining room and the kitchen together. As I walk down the hallway here, the first room that you're going to see is the master bedroom. Uh, this is where our guests will be staying. Beautiful room. I wish you could have seen it when, when this uh, was first started. Um, it was one of the rooms that I think would have been condemned, but the Lord has graciously allowed it to be restored, and it's very beautiful. Um, down further, we have uh, two bathrooms that uh, we've been able to restore. And uh, further down the hallway, we have a, a utility room with washer and dryer. Here's another guest room. I, I love this guest room. Um, it's just kind of a cozy room with a, with a double bed and closet and a, a view of the, um, of the new uh, facility next door. And then here we have another, another room where our students will be staying. In fact, we have two of our first interns that are staying with us now, um, Nolan and Drew. Um, this, is, this is their room. I just wish people could have seen what this looked like before. And what it reminds me of is that if a building can be restored like this that was such a mess, how much more can a person's heart be restored 
when they hear the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. So I ask you to prayerfully consider how can you be a part of this yourself? Um, the Lord has opened this door and we are willing to do whatever it takes to move forward. We're just going to need help. Um, I'm, I'm trying to just share my heart with you. And one of the ways that um, we need help is we need financial resources, we need volunteers, we need prayer support. Um, because the Lord has opened a door now for us to go to the next level. Thank you so much for giving of your time today. I'm Mark Hamby here at Lamplighter Ministries.